Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, and today we are once again going to be talking about TSM, but we're talking about them from a little different angle today, and I think this is going to be a really interesting story and a potentially pretty spicy video, so I do hope you guys stick around and enjoy this one, but it's obvious that things are changing for TSM massively. The TSM of 2022, the TSM of even March 2022 is not the TSM from, from four months ago, from a year ago, from five years ago. It's a different team. You know, the players are different. The people behind the scenes are all different. Uh, the organization just has a different feel, a different vibe. Um, it's it's still TSM by name, but it's a, it's a completely different organization. It's a completely different team, and times have changed. Streamers are different. Players are different. Everything, and everyone knows that. That is not a shock to people. Um, and in this video today, I want to talk about the biggest change of all that could potentially happen. Um, and, and the biggest change that we haven't even seen yet of what if TSM left the LCS or could or, or will TSM leave the LCS. But uh, definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate that a ton and subscribe to stay up to date on my latest content. Um, that would be absolutely awesome if you guys help us run those numbers up more and more. Uh, I know we recently hit 10,000 subscribers like a couple weeks ago or whatever. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. 15, 20, 100,000. These are my ultimate goals. So I hope that we can keep uh, one pumping out consistent good content to you guys that I'm happy and proud of and that you guys enjoy, um, but also that we can keep growing at the same time. With that being said, let's get right into this. So the basis of this, and this is what uh, I think Tales of Octavia was the first one to bring this to my attention, but but other people um, you know, have kind of been talking about this as well. Uh, Hotline League, March 1st, 2022, Travis Gafford, him, Mark Z, and LS were talking about some things. And Overall, I think Hotline League is, is, is pretty good content. It's not like my thing personally. I'm not like tuning in every week or anything like that. But oftentimes, I'll, you know, skim through, see what's going on, make sure I'm not missing out on any of the big stories or anything. And one of the biggest stories that they did talk about um, was obviously everyone has to talk about TSM right now. They're, they're a big story in so many different ways. Um, but they talk about this idea of TSM potentially leaving the LCS and, and where they would go. So I want to give uh, Travis a second to talk a little bit. Of course, I'm going to drop a like on this video, just like you guys should to all the content that you support, all the content that you watch, all the content that you enjoy. Um, but let's hear what Travis has to say about this situation. Hopefully it's not too loud. If it is, I'll turn it down. Again, there's all speculation here based off of these public statements, but Parth can could even say like this wasn't what I wanted. I wanted Bjergsen. I like I was given last minute this. I had to go scout players or whatever. The other thing that is very interesting, and I just want to throw this out there because I've heard people kind of like theorize this before, is that for a long time TSM has been collecting players who speak Mandarin. Blitz has a huge presence in uh, China, to my understanding, and there was even. Uh, there was a rumor that I heard at one point. It was a rumor. This is not a report. There was a rumor that I heard at one point in time that Andy really liked the idea of potentially having TSM uh, be an LPL, which would make sense given Blitz's financial or like incent Blitz's interests in China and his lack of interest in the LCS. Now, obviously, Riot would never allow something like that. But it's 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 an interesting thing where I wonder how much of the uh, el the building of this roster, the dedication to getting Mandarin speakers over the years, all that stuff was motivated by Blitz stuff. So obviously Travis is dropping some bombs on us there, and you know he's prefacing it all by saying, "Hey, these are just rumors. These are just things I heard. This is a lot of speculation. These are not reports." But at the same time, we also understand that Travis Gafford is the CEO of dropping rumors and speculation, not reports um, that are kind of tongue-in-cheek reports, uh, for lack of a better word. It's something he does often. It's something he's been called out for before. It's something that I'm not trying to call him out for. I don't really care. He can do whatever he wants to do, but I'm just saying uh, he does kind of hide Real things he's heard behind, you know, kind of a, a, a shade or whatever, um, which I like because it, it's his kind of way of being able to actually tell us the, the truth and the big stories and stuff. So, so who knows what actually going on there? Um, but yes, the idea of TSM potentially jumping ship and going to the LPL. Now, Travis says Riot would never let something like that happen, um, but uh, I don't exactly know what that means because we have heard other teams um, trying to apply for other leagues before. I think there was rumors that like some of the LEC teams, you know, had applied for LCS 
spots previously. Um, I, I imagine there's been teams that apl applied for other international leagues before. And maybe those have all been shot down by Riot or whatever, but um, obviously I don't know all the rules and stuff of the franchising. Like if, if Reggie wanted to sell his LCS spot and then wanted to try and apply and buy an LPL slot, like I don't understand why that wouldn't be allowed. I don't understand why that wouldn't be possible. And I, I am under the assumption that that is possible. And I'm also under the assumption that is becoming increasingly likely. Um, all of the statements, just like Travis says, all the statements that Reggie has been putting out lately is about how the LCS sucks. The LCS viewership is dying. Um, you know, you can't win in the LCS, so you so you can't grow a fan base. Um, the LCS isn't profitable. You know, hey, TSM doesn't make their money off esports. We make our money on the opposite side of things with Blitz and, and all of our other business ventures. That's why I don't want to drop all this money on our LCS team. That's why, um, you know, I don't want to do X, Y, Z. That's why we're not spending the big money. Now, some of that I think is total BS because, hey, if Bjergsen would have resigned to TSM, I'm sure they would have dropped a ton of money on this roster. I'm sure that would have changed everything um, and then you know there's all the excuses for why they can't spend the FTX money yada 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 but yes TSM is an international brand uh, and while the LCS is is dropping viewership around the world is is maintaining if not increasing I mean look at the LEC look at ERLs look at China look at Korea viewership is doing really really well League of Legends the game and League of Legends the eSport is popping off it's performing and there's a lot of reasons why it's not doing as well in north america uh, for whatever reason fps games are more popular here and, and and tend to do better over time um and and for whatever reason league of legends never really took off and we haven't had international success and it seems like um you know tsm is a big driving force the lcs they haven't been doing good recently and we have kind of asshole owners that people don't like and there's a lot of boring uninteresting players and north american players kind of suck and, and are kind of boring there's a lot that goes into it but Moving to the LPL would make so much sense in so many ways. TSM, is, like I said, they're an international brand. They are big. They are, they are popular. Like Travis said, the, the teams and the, the companies and organizations that they own and work with, like Blitz, are, are massive out there. This would be a huge kind of uh, boom to them. From the LPL side, I think it makes sense as well. Again, TSM is very, very popular in China. They're very popular around the world. Everyone knows TSM. Uh, and TSM has big money. You know, they're not spending it right now in the LCS, but if they went over to China, if they went over to Korea, if they went somewhere else, they would be able to spend a lot of money. Now, maybe they wouldn't be able to get great players right away, uh, and maybe it would take a couple years before they were able to actually convince players to come to them and, and build up a nasty roster and spend all this money or whatever, but hey, they're last place in the LCS right now. They're doing a multi-year project in the LCS, um, so you would have to assume that a multi-year project in the LPL would be better. You have to assume it would also be better on the financial side of things, in just in every way, you know, your viewership would go up, your viewer base would go up, everyone would be tuning in to see how TSM was going to do um, internationally, it would be crazy, it would be a massive story, it would be a huge boom, a huge revitalization to the TSM team and brand from, from where they are right now, which is slowly and surely kind of falling off, you know, they can say, hey, we're never going to be CLG, we'd never let our team do that, yada, 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 but hey, present day, that is the direction they are trending in, now yes, things can get turned around, but it's absolutely possible. And I tweeted this out a couple days ago. I think it is becoming increasingly more and more likely that within the next five years, we could see TSM in the LPL. I, I do believe that the LPL has like an odd number of teams right now. I, I think it's like 17 teams or 15 teams or something like that. So expansion of the LPL is not out of the realm of possibility. Like I said, Reggie's making it pretty damn clear to LCS fans, to North American TSM fans, to um, everyone, anyone who will listen that He's not really happy with the LCS situation right now. He's not happy with how the league's being run. He's not happy with the rule set. He's not happy with the growth. He's not happy with the revenue. He's not happy in so many different ways. Um, so why would he not love an opportunity to take his team over to the LPL where so many of these issues, if not all of them, would be rectified pretty instantly? Um, and, and it would solve like all their problems. They would have a chance to compete internationally. They'd get to play in a better league. They'd have more fans. They'd be making more money. There'd be more, more growth potential for the future. It'd be better for their partners like Blitz and all these other things. They already have an established international brand. I just think it makes a ton of sense. And I think Reggie is already starting to drop those hints. Now, I have no idea what the logistics of it would be. I don't know how hard it would be to get out of the LCS to sell the LCS spot. I don't know how hard it would be to get into the LPL, how long it would take, if it's even possible. But if it is possible, and again, to my knowledge, it, it seems like it, it should be, uh, especially if the money's right. Hey, if it makes dollars, it makes sense. And a move like this would make a ton of sense for TSM, for the LPL, and, and probably for Riot as well at the end of the day. 
Um, so yeah, just know that it's out there. Like Travis said, he's heard people talking about this. He's heard it as a rumor. Maybe not recently, but it's it's at least been an option in the past, and that leads me to believe it could be an option once again in the future. And like I said, if TSM five years from now is not in the LCS, I will not be shocked. That's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, do you think TSM could leave the LCS? Do you think they would leave the LCS? Do you think they're going to leave the LCS? And then do you think that would be a good or bad decision? I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. I hope we catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.